I remember yeah. this yesterday morning. We were dealing with the same thing out in Wellington, Jen. Yeah, and, you know, I think more of the thunderstorms and rain has developed this morning compared to yesterday morning. This is a different point of view. This is another West Palm Beach camera overlooking the intercoastal. Uh, if I give it a minute or two, maybe we'll see some of those flashes happening because of lightning. I don't want to stick too long on this, but uh, you could tell these are the gray storm clouds. Now, the rain has kind of tapered off for West Palm Beach as the thunderstorm has shifted very slowly a little more north and kind of closer to the east because about uh, 30 minutes ago it was more over inland cities uh, but now it's definitely along the coast so we're going to go ahead and zoom into this uh, thunderstorm this was the first one to develop this morning over West Palm Beach and then it moved northward has a lot of lightning strikes and even some heavy rain right now heavy rain that's going to start to enter Jupiter Inlet colony it's already raining there but it's only going to get heavier where you could see that rain shading. Actually, I'm going to take up some uh, numbers here. Let's see if this will work for me. Okay, there we go. So the rain rate is close to three inches per hour. It's pretty intense rain. So early in the morning, we kind of have a small blob, blob here of heavy rainfall near Juno Ridge and North Palm Beach over I-95, also dealing with rain. So you know that's going to be adding to your commute time. So you want to, if you can, head out early. But of course, whatever time you head out this morning, you're going to run into some rain, clearly, even over the turnpike. So take it easy, pack the patience, and of course, take your umbrella or raincoat. We also have a lot of lightning strikes popping up from basically villages of Oriel all the way up to Aberdeen. And now Green Acres once again dealing with another round of rain, but the heaviest right over Aberdeen as well. So, so far, these showers that developed overnight right along the coast have now converted into thunderstorms. Now, one uh, eventually we get into the middle of the morning, late morning, those showers that we're talking about now, of course, they're going to dissipate, right? But then we get the sea breeze developing right over Vero Beach, Fort Pierce, Port St. Lucie, and even short, we could see a thunderstorm early in the afternoon, then everything again tracks towards Lake Okeechobee. So here we go. Hey there, Treasure Coast. So you're starting off quiet as compared to coastal Palm Beach County. You're not dealing with the storms now, but you will this afternoon. So heads up on that as the storms come down. Down. We're talking about temperatures starting to drop into those upper 80s in the afternoon, but overall the highs will still manage to hit the low 90s. And by the way, a heat advisory in effect for Palm Beach County yet again. More rain to come as the tropical wave moves over us later Sunday and early next week.